Hold the face screen up. Keep the heat away from your face. Avoid melting and save face in more ways than one. Using your face screen, you could avoid the eye of a disagreeable acquaintance, stop an unpleasant encounter, and create your own private face space. We are, of course, talking of a time when to be short on style was more of a crime than being short on principle. Your face screen had to be a work of art. It was an object hiding your face, yes, but also for exhibiting and projecting your intellectual artistic, creative, and fashionable inner face. Your choice of screen said it all. Did you paint well? Did you select well? Did you commission well? Or was your needlework up to scratch? You were aware that the company would scrutinize your screen, so you waved it elegantly on its exquisite handle, wafting the scent of your erudition and asserting the prodigiosity of your talents. With your face screen, you made it known that you were interested in botany, the classics, the Orient, that you visited interesting places, such as the theater and the cathedrals. That you could paint, draw, or embroider. That you had the aesthetic sensitivity which allowed you to combine different elements with artistry and flair. If you had no time or inclination to make your own screen, you made sure that you choose are commissioned well. You selected a creation made from paper or papier mache, painted by a trained artist or a talented gentle lady who had hit on hard times, Charles Dickens gives us a glimpse of such artistically rich but financially stressed lives. The subject of the artwork could be chosen for its sheer beauty. Birds, flowers, swags in a combination of nature and fantasy framed in a golden rococo cartouche catching the light and the eye and the delight of your friends. If beauty was not enough, you could give a hint of your inner self. With gloomy gothic scenes, suggestive of moody introspection. Perhaps telling the story of Little Nell. You could also display your interest in the theatre, the classics, Cathay, or other subjects that opened the window into your very soul. You could use different scenes for different occasions, chinoiserie fantasies of the imagined world of Cathay for a ball, or a feeling more frivolous display of feathers. The face screen was your shield, but also a trophy display of your inner self, a pennant signaling your place in society. Visit hygra.com forward slash face discover the amazing world of the face screen.